Hello YouTube and welcome to our 67th Unity 3D tutorial and in this tutorial what we're going to do is make a game a bit more playable in the features that we've actually put in. So if we play it, as you can see, we have this screen here. On this screen we are supposed to have time around about here where my mouse is and we're supposed to have some HUD animations whereas if I pause it and I'll show you where that is, so if we click uh, HUD animations, untick this because it'll turn it off it is all the way over here which isn't very good the only thing that really adjusts to the size is the life bar so we're going to just do it for everything else and um, the skills on fireball one is well they're all really simple and this tutorial shouldn't really be that long so if we unpause it um, may as well work from the top so HUD animations this one all we need to do is assign the script to it so we did this script before the GUI align script if you didn't see this tutorial I we'll just quickly explain it to you but it's really simple um, you assign the script and in your image X and image Y you need to full screen your unity and um, while playing it in your inspector you need to position them more manually and then write them down I have already wrote them down here as you can see my HUD anima animations and my time because they, it took a good while to be able to do um, a good, I'll show you a good tip to do it, so if you want to maximise it to get the best feature out of it, what you can do is if you drag your inspector off into its own pane and click play, you can see it and just change it while you do it. So if you like, if I were to click my HUD animations, click play, in here I can mess around with it and then it'll, I can write it down when it's perfect. So and just assign it back by dragging the tab, which is there, and this project goes there. There we go. So um, for my x axis, it is minus seven three seven point nine. I actually don't know if if you can use these um, these measurements. You might actually be able to. It might work. So try it. If not, just measure it out yourself. Um, so. However, this one will work fine because it's a GUI texture. So if we were to play that and it would work, yeah. But others, like the in-game time, don't have a GUI texture. And if we open the wrong script up, if we open the GUI align script there, um, you will see that it what requires a GUI texture. So how can we fix this? If we change this to GUI text, then the other one won't work. Well, we can do something called null. If you don't know what null means, null means absolute nothing. And what we can do is if above this we type if this dot GUI texture, so whatever this script's attached to, equal does not equal null. That basically means um if basically if it has a GUI texture, then do that. Else if this dot GUI text does not equal null, yeah. Then what we can do is we copy this and paste it in here. Instead of writing GUI texture, GUI text, and paste it in there. However, if we look at a GUI text, it doesn't have a pixel inset, it has a pixel offset. They really do do the same thing, but just change it. Offset, and copy paste, there. Now that should work perfect. So basically, we'll put that on the same line. Basically, it'll check it. Does it have a GUI texture? Yes. Then assign a GUI texture. Else, does it have a GUI text? Yes. Assign the GUI text. So now we can type the time in. That won't throw any errors. Minus nine four eight point twenty seven. I'll put these in the description if, for anyone who wants to copy them. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Put in the description. Just noted that down so I remember because I'll forget otherwise. Um, so that's that. So now we've done that, we may as well just test it and see if this works. There we go. So it's automatically aligned now. So if we were to say maximize it, oh, it was maximized. Let's not maximize it then. It automatically aligns itself again. So if we were to maximize it, but um, drag it up, say like that, and play it again it automatically kind of aligns itself. The y-axis on the script's a bit messy, but we've, we talked about that a while ago. I'm not the best mathematician. 
but yeah so now what we need to do is do the starts because if we look at the starts it's slightly touching it and we're just gonna bump it down a little so if you go to your character and choose your player starts open it up and we will be editing the script soon as well because I want to add some more to it uh -huh. so if we go here where it says group we can just change this group so I already know that if we put the X to 1 and the Y to 40 it'll fit perfectly in sync with it so it won't look messy, won't look bad so as you can see there so now we can run around we can activate our mission if we want, we don't have to we can go up to him, jump, we can fire yeah so it's all good so that's pretty much it for this tutorial i know it's a short one but there's another one coming soon thanks for watching and see you next time